Hi, my name's Chip Finn. I'm with Poke Runs America Magazines, and we're here at the Miami Boat Show. And I'm with Michael Fury, owner, founder of Outer Limits Power Boats. And we're here to talk to Mike a little bit about what he's got new with at the Boat Show and the way of uh, product now and how things are going. How's it going, Mike? Good, Chip. Good. Thanks good to for see uh, good to see you. Thanks for coming by. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for visiting us. Uh, yeah, we're really excited. Uh, this year, we've introduced our new SV29, which is uh, a big deal for us. This is our first single-engine boat we've ever built. Uh, so it's been a, a very highly anticipated uh, launch, again, for a performance boat with one engine. That's pretty significant today. Especially for Out of Limits, you, where you're, you're building these big behemoth, really big boats and big power. It's nice to see this is a big change for you, huh? Well, it is. I mean, you know, our specialty has been million dollar plus power boats, and now we're into the 200,000 and below power boat. Uh, and, and that was a challenge for us in a few respects. I mean, we had to, uh, you know, deliver a boat with superior quality, uh, superior fit and finish, and good, strong engineering and performance. And we had to do it in a relatively you know, small amount of time. Well, it's, it's always the Miami Boat Show push, always. But looking at this boat from the outside, it's just absolutely spectacular. For 29 footage, you incorporate a lot of your past and now the future, what you see in this, is, whether it's the tooling or it's the right chine line, this boat says it all, man. Yeah, no, uh, thank you, Chip. We're very, very proud of it. And again, it does. It incorporates, you know, the best performance of an Outer Limits, uh, the fit and finish, the engineering. You know, what's significant about this boat is it's it's really the next generation engineering. Uh, it's an epoxy uh, built hull. It's an epoxy e-glass carbon uh, structural monocoque grid, and then it has an epoxy e-glass carbon deck that bonds on top of all of it. So, for the common guy that's buying a single engine boat, which you just explained to him, which I understand the language. This boat's bulletproof. Well, it's bulletproof, but it's not built the way every other boat's ever been built. So we've, we've uh, uh, this new process we've, we've developed has enabled us to build a better quality boat in a shorter time duration, therefore delivering a better value to the customer. That's, and obviously resale is going to be there, able to insure it, not you know, giant horsepower, yes, exactly. the banks to, you know, to finance it in today's economy. Yeah. And as far as book runs go, this gives the guy, instead of being up here, he's starting here and he, he fits right in with the mainstream, whether they're here, here, or here. Well, he's, you're right. What, what, what this boat does well is it gets the guy going up the ladder and the guy coming back down off the ladder. Um, and you got a boat that still, with a 600 Merc, you know, runs in the mid-90s. I mean, that's fast. Well, it's real fast. The best thing I like about it, you know, this kind of boat, it's dependable. You put the key in it, you turn it, every time you get in it, it's going to take your boating. You're not going to worry about being broke on Sunday yeah. on that long three-hour idle on the way home. Yeah, you're 100% right. And Mercury's done a tremendous job at delivering the consumer and the boat builder reliable turnkey power. I mean, they've really changed the game. You know, Mike, now, I don't know I've noticed coming in the show, we'll go out and take a look at it later, but uh, this SUV sport utility vessel, center console, I see now you have a boat up on the aisle now that you've you jumped in that market too. Yes, we have. We've had customers been asking for it for years, so we finally produced a 38-foot uh, center console pleasure boat. Uh, and it's it's designed as a pleasure boat. Well, you know what the thing is with the center consoles now. I think they've discovered whether it's a poker runner that came out of a big high performance boat, they still can go boating, and it's a nice social environment. They can move about in the boat. They can trade places. They can talk to one another. It's not here's your seat for the whole day. Sit down, shut up, and hang on. 100. Yeah, percent It's something for the whole family, and there's room to, for the cockpit for people to move around, and has reliable mercury outboard power. So well, what can you, what can you say the, about that? The reliable mercury outboard power. So it's warranted for seven years. Right. Exactly. It's, um, it's, it's financeable. Okay, yeah, the, the banks look at them as a, it's a normal boat. Right. And it's on its trail level. And the boat's got great resale value. Absolutely. Great resale value. That boat with triple 300s is a 80, mile, 80 plus mile an hour boat. So it still gives the performance guy his speed fix that he wants. Yeah, you get the cool factor. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's uh, and he's going to take all you know ten of his friends out. If he dumps a sandwich on the floor, it's not the end of the day. Yeah, exactly. And he brings it home, holds it off, and walks away from it. Yeah, 100%. Hey, well, I'll tell you what, Mike. We'll take... We'll take a walk around this boat in a little while. And okay. uh, thank you very much. And on behalf of Poker Runs America, thanks for sharing with us. Chip, thank you very much. Appreciate My thanks. It. Okay.